Now that we've set the mechanical limits on the lock motor and gearbox, we're going to connect for high voltage limits over to the iDrive 300. The iDrive 300 comes set for factory low voltage limits and we'll show you how to override it for the high voltage limits. Okay, now we're going to talk about the iDrive 300 with high voltage limits. First we'll talk about a few features of the iDrive 300 itself. The iDrive 300 is a complete motor controller. It comes with interlocking, reversing contactors that can only be in the open or closed. They're physically interlocked so they can't be in both positions at the same time. Have a thermal overload as, as uh, required by the NAC. Your motor must be thermally protected. The thermal overload is adjustable so we can get the proper size thermal setting for your particular motor and gearbox. And should it happen to trip on a thermal condition, it is resettable by depressing this orange button. We also have a 24 volt AC transformer inside the motor and gearbox or the uh, iDrive 300 assembly and it is selectable for input voltages. You can use it for 120 volt where it's wired now, 208 volt or 240 volts in and it will operate any of those motors and still give us our 24 volts AC. The transformer is fuse protected so if you get a problem on the low voltage side, the fuse will trip and protect the transformer. Our electrical connections are to the hot and neutral, hot being black, neutral being white. We have our three motor leads going out to the lock motor and gearbox, this being a 120 volt three wire motor. We have our neutral connection. On our neutral, we have red, which is our closed direction for this motor and black, which is our open direction for this motor. We also have our ground wire, which is connected to a ground terminal on the board. We then have features on the board itself, on the circuit board, which are primarily for computer operation. They give us the ability to have a, a um, computer connected to both open and close your unit based on a computer or a thermostat. We also have the ability to control the limits on the motor if you were using a low voltage motor. That takes us to where we were with this motor and gearbox setting up for the high voltage limits. Right now you'll notice if I put the motor in the closed position, the closed comes, light comes on and the closed limit light comes on but the motor never moved. If I go to open, you'll see the open light comes on and the open limit light comes on and the motor never moved. That's because the safety jumpers for the limit bypass are installed in the factory set position which is set to operate normally with low voltage limits. In this instance, we have to turn the motor off and we have to remove our jumpers, move them one pin to the right, and now we're set up to operate in a high voltage situation. Now if I go to open, after our delay the motor starts moving in the open direction. When it hits the limit, the motor stops, our open light stays on and our limit light does not come on because we have bypassed the limits. When we go to close, we have our delay, then our motor starts moving, hits the limit, stops. Notice the green light is still on. Notice the red light does not come on because again, we do not have the limit connections. As in any installation, it's important that you should go to the installation manual for the iDrive 300 and the lock motor and gearbox and refer to our electrical drawings prior to the installation. Should you encounter any questions during the installation, feel free to contact Link4 Corporation.